untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. This will be a part of the early access events, courtesy of Wizards of the Coast. Okay, pack one, pick one, or rare. Fiend Lash, decent equipment. We've got some reprints, Innkeeper, Charmed Sleep, Fireball. Uh, let's see, in white, Guiding Bolts, four or greater Scry 2, yeah, seems okay. That's maybe a one-off, and then Imprisonment, your uh, Arrest effect, that also gives you a 2-1 creature. Seems decent. Got some double team cards, the new mechanic, making a copy of this creature when it attacks, and then both creatures lose double team, so you get to double up on it. Dust Guard has been pretty decent from what I've seen so far, also using the new boon mechanic that perpetually gives the next creature a bonus. I think I'm okay with Imprisonment here over Fiend Lash. See if we can build a nice white aggro deck. And then if we wheel Bolt, Dusk Guard, or even Squadron, I would be fine with it. We've got a Toll Keeper, 2 mana 3 1. Can look at the opponent's hands to make their card or even lands come into play tapped. So not a bad 2 drop. There's Dragon's Fire, always good, and Hippogriff, also a nice adventure creature, can use a comma trick to make something indestructible, and then a, a nice flyer that can give something else flying. I think I'm actually going with a Toll Keeper here, keep the curve low, and uh, hope to wheel Hippogriff, probably not gonna wheel Dragon's Fire, but we'll see. Okay, next up, Paladin, 2-2 two -two lifelink. Could maybe end up in a life gain synergy deck, in which case Unicorn would slot into that deck nicely. And then there's a Squadron, although probably not a card we need to prioritize. Red Dragon is also a nice curve topper for an aggro deck. Uh, I've been quite impressed by the Nefarious Imp, especially in kind of a red-black treasure sacrifice deck, where you can enable it quite often. So that's another new card, and then the Navigation Orb for kind of your multicolor ramp strategies. Can be quite effective too, makes use of the new Gates cycle of lands. But I'll try Paladin. Think Paladin before Unicorn makes sense, as this can also just slot into any White's aggressive deck, whereas Unicorn really only goes into the Life Gain Synergy decks. So this one seems a bit more versatile. Okay, there's yet another squadron. The Humiliation's also been pretty decent in these aggressive decks that can present lots of creatures to enable it. As one mana removal. And then Hawk, a 1-1 one -one that can maybe put a land into play. Yeah, it's okay. Probably want Captain at that point. As a nice aggressive 2-drop, plays well with the other 2-mana 3-powered creatures in white, which there's quite a few of. Although I'm kind of going to give Humiliation a, a try as an efficient removal spell. It's been quite good when used against me so far. Next we have one of the double team creatures. Seems good. Maneuver has a combo trick. We can also definitely make use of, but I think I still want to prioritize the creatures early. Especially plays well with the Humiliation. As we can get a, another copy. Even the Imprisonment makes uh, Soldiers of the Watch. And yeah, staying mono white has its advantages if we open a great card in a different color. What do we see here? Nothing amazing. This is better in a more controlling deck, but I guess we can still use it as a pump effect. Sure. Could also go for Null Camp as a pump spell, but it's not a great one. Preventing two creatures from blocking can be a way to close out the game, perhaps. I'll just stick to Mono White for now. Should be able to pick up more Null Camps later. 
not a huge fan of this one. Can take an Iron Golem, it's just a fine aggressive card if we can back it up with maybe a couple pump spells. Otherwise we could take a Band Together, which is kind of late in this pack, as a decent removal option. Green seems somewhat open. Yeah, I guess I should pick up on the signal. And Iron Golem is not a huge loss. This is kind of your fight or bite effect in the set. And if we do somehow end up in the green-white life gain deck, we can also make use of it. Okay. Farewell. Not a bad trick. Pumps a creature. And then if it dies, the next creature gets a power bonus and we draw a card regardless, so replaces itself. Naga could be a nice curve topper, but 7 mana is quite pricey. So don't see myself necessarily playing this. But yeah, definitely a powerful card if you can get it down. Alright, so we've got a relatively low curve, but could use more creatures. Did wheel that guiding bolts, which I'm happy to have as a one off. But typically don't want too many of this effect. Could give Cloak of the Bat a try to get the last points of damage in. Could speculate, maybe take like a Drider. Poison the Blade would be at its best with a couple first strike creatures or small tokens. So wouldn't be the worst in our deck. Maybe like give some of our double team creatures death touch. I'll take a squadron now. That seems like a curve topper we can realistically cast. Take another one. Alright, so no one taking those is a good sign. So we're definitely white, but not committed to any second color yet. And a rally maneuver, I could certainly see myself playing too. Plus two, plus O oh first strike, plus O oh plus two lifelink. Can usually make good use of it. Second pack. Definitely open some goodies. Ancient Brass Dragon at seven mana is expensive, but if it connects, we'll certainly take over a game. But a Priest of Ancient Lore is kind of perfect for our deck. Cheap creature replaces itself, can maybe enable some life gain synergies if we end up with more of those. I think that's going to be my pick. And then hope to wheel another farewell, maybe one of these green cards. There's another specialized card, which is a new mechanic in this uh, expansion for digital play specifically. So I have to discard a card and then it can turn into kind of the upgraded version of the corresponding color. You can discard both a land or a non-land. Got the Archivists, quite powerful in Commander. Usually don't search your library all that often in Draft. But it is still a 2-2 with Flash, so it's, you know, not that bad. Other options include a random 6-mana 4-4 flyer. Nurture to Ramp, although it doesn't seem great in our heavy white deck. Mace seems like a pretty mediocre equipment. So I guess we'll try the Archivist over Naga. Split the Spoils also doesn't seem amazing. So sure. Okay, next up Containment as removal might be necessary. Otherwise, uh, Flaming Fist Dusk Guard is quite powerful. This can pick up another creature, and there's another paladin, so quite a few options. Might be able to wheel one of the two mana creatures, so take the containment for now. And yeah, we're by no means committed to green, so don't feel the need to take the gold card, even if it could be okay. Because if we can go mono-white, we can easily get away with playing fewer lands, which 
helps drawing more action in a low curve aggro deck. Whereas if we play two colors, it's a bit sketchier to play fewer lands in general. Okay, this pack doesn't have anything for us necessarily. This is more of kind of self mill graveyard enabler. This is a, a bit of a weird pump effect. Could take a shepherd, speculate on a life gain deck, maybe that comes together. There's another Naga, but I don't think that's happening. Already have double squadron as a better curve topper. And then some okay black cards have been pretty pleased with a grave choice as an edict, which can get more value if the opponent sacks a smaller creature. Another Priest's Excellence, fifth pick, that's a good sign. Would be interested in the gate as well as a mana sink in the late game, but can't pass up on the Priest. So yeah, white seems open, that's for sure. And we're almost going to have a deck after two packs. So it can only improve from here. Humiliation looks good. Got some more removal with the Guiding Bolt, Containment and Imprisonment. So really just one more cheap creatures to apply pressure with. And I guess Ira Golem at 4 is still okay. Got a Flicker effect that draws. Deadly Dispute always good. Probably not going to play the first copy, so I don't think I'm going to need a second. And already have a Cloak, which I may not even play. Next up, nothing too amazing. Baldur's Gate to combo with all the other gates. I've got a nice main deckable. You line up the shot to either get a naturalize or a plummet or just cycle it for single green. Another one of the gates. Prism can be a nice mana fixer, but not gonna need it in our deck. So yeah, this pick doesn't matter too much. Monk of the Open Hand seems excellent. Should be able to double spell. Turn 4, play double 2 drop, realistically. And start picking up some counters. Also plays well with the new adventure cards, if we can get another one of those 4 mana flyers. That has the 1 mana adventure. I'll take another farewell. As far as combat tricks go, this seems like a good one. And I don't think we're playing any of these. Alright, we wield a 2 mana 2 2 with flash. Can maybe save a creature that's been enchanted by opposing removal. Okay, so heading into the last pack, open the Intervention, choose one or more, make a Knight, seek a card with mana value 3 or less, destroy artifact enchantment, gain 3. Kind of expensive, but yeah, making a pair of Knights and seeking a card is quite a bit of value. So we're either taking Intervention or Humiliation as a very cheap removal spell. Dust card would also be nice. I think I need to take the cheaper cards. As good as Intervention may be. It is an instant though. That is kind of nice. Hmm, tough choice. Maybe I'll try the, the rare anyways here. Uh, yes. Portable hole seems awesome. Cheap removal. Nothing else in the pack for us. A wand could be fun, but not for our deck. Yeah, take portable hole. Yeah, at this point I think we're just mono whites. Can cut one squadron. And then, yeah, really just want to pick up more cheap creatures. Alright, there's the Hippogriff, 
that's a consideration. Four mana, two, three with double team when it attacks, taps an opposing creature. That's also very good because it kind of helps enable itself so it can attack. Another containment, so a lot of great options. Dragon's Fire, too. All three of these could be okay. I think I need more creatures. So do I want a flyer or the double team tap something down? Double team might actually be better. But yeah, it's a close call. Paladin seems like a nice 5 drop. Bump our team. Hawk. Can maybe get a planes. But we're not super interested in ramping. So I'll take the solid 5 drop. There's a couple more life gain cards, but I think we want for a different approach. Don't think I'm playing another Iron Golem, am I? Yeah, I doubt it. Let's hope to pick up another nice 2-drop. Since we're kind of short on actual creatures. What did we get? Officer. Nah, not that interesting. And stalwarts can flicker something, so they kind of pair well with each other. But uh, not super interested in either one. Another farewell. Alright, so might be regretting that uh, intervention pick. Might have been better off with an extra 2-drop. Well, there's a 2-drop. Not the best one, but... It'll have to do. Yeah, Lurking Roper's good, but we don't have enough uh, life gain to enable it. I guess we do have Double Priest and a 2-2 two -two life link, but that's about it. The Sewer Plague. Pretty good removal spell in black. Surprise that's still here. Probably don't want to play against Shambling Geist. Alright, so... Can maybe get away with 16 lands. And then... Don't think I'm playing Cloak. Since we have Farewell as a combo trick instead, which... Is gonna be our way to get through for damage. And that seems a bit more mana efficient. So that can go. Something on watch might be cuttable too. Our deck might not be like aggressive enough where we're consistently going to be the ones applying pressure as we're kind of light on great two drops. Uh, so it could still be a nice defensive option dealing five. Stalwart doesn't seem great. I guess it's okay with a priest. You can flicker it and then draw another card. Maybe it's good enough actually. Golem should be fine with all our tricks. And then happy to have one squadron as a curve topper alongside intervention. Maybe triple farewell is one too many. And then do I still want a rally maneuver? Yeah, I mean this could be quite good. Yeah, last cut, maybe just a land, go to 16 as we mentioned. Okay, give this a try. Okay. Bit light on creatures, but got some interaction and then uh, intervention as a nice curve topper. Up against blue red. Oh, might as well make use of Flash. And a Walrus. So don't have any great plays lined up for next turn necessarily. If they block, I guess we could pump.
Alright, let's attack. And then if they ramp into something big, we can kill it. If they attack, we can kill the walrus. So we'll see. Can eventually destroy the walrus with intervention too. Eh, seems like a fine answer to spy. Then we'll keep this back, make them maybe use removal on our 2-drop and then can still kill the spy. So I'm not going to kill the walrus now, I don't think. Alright, that works too. Still incentivized to trade here and be able to attack with the soldiers. But now they maybe don't bother killing our 2-drop anymore. Familiar for flying. So next turn the spy could attack and a basilisk on the splash. Okay. Well, the soldiers can still attack. And then we can play the extra copy, keep up something on watch for spy. I think that's better than going for paladin. And then next turn we could kill the walrus. And if the flyer attacks, I'm probably still okay killing it. Otherwise, I'm probably better off killing the spy. Deny the card draw. And a 2 1 flyer, we can just kind of outrace on the ground. Let's see if they have a trick. And then uh, probably want to intervention. Maybe their upkeep. If we want to play around some of the conditional counter spells. Otherwise, I can attack first, although this would kill the walrus. How likely are they to want to trade it? Not super likely. Yeah, the blue is tapped, but walrus can still make blue. I forget if the 2-mana counter spell can counter non-creature spells, or if it's only creatures, might just be creatures. In which case, I'm probably happy going for intervention. There's always a chance they play some enchantment we can blow up as well. Just going for Paladin would have been reasonable too, although can maybe pay for a conditional counter spell next turn. Shenanigans are afoot. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, I should probably just try and deal with the walrus now before they can tap it and maybe have access to double blue. Alright. That worked. And yeah, this paladin's looking good now. Got some interesting looking knights. Dragonborn, just a 3 3. As there's a spy in the graveyard. And this is going to be a nice attack. Can use our farewell. Or just flash in the archivists. Well, this game played out quite nicely, despite kind of missing some early plays. Yeah, I don't think we need to pump. The 
one card to watch out for is uh, two damage to each non-dragon creature. I believe it's an instant as well. So if they pass with a bunch of mana up, I might have to think twice about playing Archivist. Okay, revealing. Ooh, Earthquake Dragon. Still dies to a Guiding Bolt, but yeah, that works. One unknown in hand, and they might be dead to Archivist plus Farewell for two extra damage. Couple combo tricks here to close out the game. Sweet. Okay, nice hand. I think soldiers try and attack with it next turn. Alright. Still traded for a dragon's fire, which is not too bad. And that's a one mana answer to a captain potentially. Imprisonment's not going to be great in this matchup when they have so many sacrifice effects. Yeah, we don't get to see their entire hand, only the creatures. Still will give us a bit of information to work with. Could attack with Priest first, I suppose. It's all Driders. Okay. And uh, sure, I guess we'll Portable Hole. So we can imprison one Drider, block another. Might as well do this now. Yeah, I mean, this imprisonment seems pretty strong if they don't have a sack effect. Get my soldiers going, can farewell to get it past their 4 3. Or we can just play Paladin, which is even better. Still have a nice curve topper. Some more removal. Put on did glance at their graveyard, so it might be. Trying to reanimate something. Uh -huh, that makes sense. Well, we can try and humiliate it, but they might get some value from it first. Alright, so now what? I could flicker Paladin, but then it no longer gets to attack. So I'm probably just playing soldiers and then attacking so we can humiliation for three damage. And if they block, farewell looks good. Damage is fine. And then probably go for this in response to specialize.
and hope that there's no removal spell in hand. Uh oh. Dragon's Fire, wow. They actually had it. Okay, now what? So their creature's still gonna lose its abilities here, but they're still gonna get the creature back. Do I want to farewell to pump my next creature? Doesn't seem necessary. Hmm. I guess never mind. It didn't get the creature back once it's lost its abilities. So interesting rules interaction here. So now it doesn't feel too bad. And we get a nice little boon to pump up our next creature. Now if we perpetually pump the squadron, the uh, extra copy we find is not going to get the perpetual bonus. That's important to keep in mind. Flickering Paladin is also not going to get rid of the perpetual shrinking. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just play squadron here. Yes. Decent hand. Alright, so we can try and exile that next turn, maybe. One of the few ways to get rid of it without it drawing. Beetles is good too. Um... Yeah, we could go Monk plus Portable Hole, although now I'm kind of liking just playing priests. Yeah, we've got some nice value creatures here, I'm drawing us extra cards. Pulkor Ghoul means that they can sack Prowlers to draw, so probably have to exile the Ghoul. And uh, can Monk Ghoul plus Soldiers. Could also imprison the Ghoul, which is also fair. And then keep a Portable Hole for Prowler afterwards. Either way, the Ghoul has to go. I think I prefer the Monk line, which puts more stuff in play and then keeps imprisonment for something else large. And now they don't get to draw off the Prowler. The upside of Imprisonment is that the soldiers would still have double team. So we cannot quite double spell unless Priest draws something cheap. 
which is probably still fine. Do have imprisonment for, or rather, guiding bolt for something large. I think I'm hoping priest just draws into another cheap play. All right, still fine. Ooh, nice. Humiliation's great. So the safest place, probably Imprisonment, one of the Beatles, and then Humiliation can kill another Growth Monk. Overplaying Iron Golem. They might be able to sack it, maybe. Dragon's Fire, that'll work. So now we might as well wait on Humiliation, since we don't have the reason to play it in our turn with the Monk being gone now. See how aggressive they get. Alright, Dispute's a nice one. Yeah, Prowler has been a pretty impressive common too so far. Great synergy in the sacrifice decks. Evokers, double team 1-1. One, one. When it enters, conjure a card named Lightning Bolt into your hand. Then discard a card. So they could actually cast Lightning Bolts, which is a reason not to take all the damage here. Ah, so they've got bolts. So where does that leave us? Just the beetles attacking, so I can take two down to four. Let's say we kill evokers. Attack, then bolts doesn't get the job done, so that should be fine then. Yeah, Humiliation once again, proving to be incredibly powerful. We're virtually at one life here with that Lightning Bolt in hand, so definitely a close game. The one life from Priests being relevant. GG's. All right, on the play, hand seems acceptable enough. A few more conditional cards, so that may or may not be great here. Double team. Oh, can attack into it. And rally. Can't really stop it from attacking us. Other than setting up a double block, I guess. I think we smash. And now we've got Tollkeeper to keep up the pressure. And in a potential racing situation, a creature coming into play tapped is also going to be relevant. Yeah, 
Okay, so we've got a Mardu deck. Chain Devil. Not the biggest problem when we can sack our 1-drop. Uh, Warcaller. Just a 1-1. One, one. So we could pick a land, maybe the Swamp. So that comes into play tapped. Although they will be able to attack with Rouser, play another next turn, so that's still pretty mana efficient. The hidden card means it's not a creature or a land. So maybe I should just go for like Chain Devil here. Since, yeah, Swamp coming into play tapped is not relevant when they can just attack, play another one. And Warcaller, it's not like it has haste itself. And then if they attack, play another copy. They also don't have double red to double spell necessarily. So that's fine. And then uh, Guiding Bolt also an answer to Devil, so maybe there was a reason not to make it come into play tapped. If I draw a land, I think I'm happy imprisoning the Rouser on defense, as opposed to Maneuver. Well, the Maneuver is not bad, because we can give this to extra toughness and pump something else to get in more damage. Yeah, I think we imprison now. Just getting that extra 2-2 two -two creature. Or 2-1 creature, I should say. It's pretty nice. Yeah, maybe because of Guiding Bolts I should have picked something else, but... The Swamp also would not have made a difference. So maybe it was just the one drop after all. As it can maybe block our Toll Keeper. I guess I will say Chain Devil does make enchanting their creature a bit worse, as they can just sacrifice it now. And they did go with Warcaller. We'll see. Hopefully set up a nice rally maneuver here. Containments. Okay. Paladin. It's kind of perfect. Thanks to the extra mana too. And smash. And hopefully we can close out the game with a nice maneuver. And then for single red, I don't think there's any removal to worry about, so... And, uh, fine hands. Not too many ways to enable archivists. Especially with a lot of cards now seeking instead of searching, but uh, yeah, just a two drop with flash. Blue white. Right, Tollkeeper gets to see most of our hands. And which did they pick? Uh, the land, I guess. Yeah, that's that's pretty effective. <laughs> so no two drop for us. All right, I think we go for priests. Keep hitting our land drops. And then we can maybe double spell next turn. Opponent might have uh, the removal here. Yep. Well, we've got 
an answer to their flyer. Although blue eye does have a lot of flicker effects, which could be annoying. And I'll flash an archivist, I think. Although getting the life linker going could be worth it. Opponent's probably just drawing two end of turn. Then we got a decision. Uh, bounce my two drop. That's fine. And keep Paladin tapped. Okay. Can bolt that one at least. Hmm. Probably need land. As good as those are. Land 5's not helpful, but keeping these on top is also not gonna help my cause. Could see an argument for containment, but still have imprisonment. Okay. So, I could double spell Grow the Monk, but then I can just trade for Tollkeeper. I guess I could imprison the dragon and just attack with the paladin. Seems unexciting. Although I don't want to play golem and have them block with the toll keeper. Yeah, maybe we just go soldiers plus archivist and then next turn remove something to attack. They don't know about imprisonment, so might catch them off guard. While giving us a guard. Ooh, that's a good one. Make four soldiers, and then they can equip. Not what we wanted to see. I guess we can attack into the dragon now, and then play another soldiers. Maybe I don't attack with the Monk, since I can still trade for Tollkeeper. And I'll only be able to grow it second main. And if they don't block with the Dragon, then I don't have to farewell, and we can play an Iron Golem, I suppose. So this is 2 to play, 3 to equip. Giving plus one for each creature they control. Yeah, that's scary. Cannot enchant it with our imprisonments. So yeah, damage happens. Seven seven dragon, two turn clock. And portable hole my monk. Yeah, good turn. So now it's attack with Iron Golem, opponent takes five, imprison the dragon, opponent can move the equipment, and then the golem can still block. Yeah, seems like the play. Not sure if Archivist was supposed to attack too there. So close game. And this dragon taps. Golem. Next turn they can kill us with a Miss Dragon. So yeah, I think that's end of the line unless Farewell draws into something, but we bought him some good ones already. Can I afford to attack with both or just the one soldiers? Let's say I do draw an answer to their Mist Dragon, then I guess 
still happy attacking. Although they could then equip a token instead of the dragon, and then the token's also a must answer. So it does put us in a tough spot. Yeah, I guess we'll try this. Portable hole, not quite. So yeah, we can farewell again, but it's not gonna help us. Wait, is this? I guess we can get rid of the equipment, so that does work. Okay, there's still hope. Although still facing a Tutron Clock from their dragon. Opponents at 9. Yeah, they should have enough tokens to survive here. Although if we draw land, we can play Squadron to jump. 4-5. Yep. Okay, I guess it's just a trade now without the equipment. So Golem has to attack, nothing else is attacking. Play Squadron, cross our fingers. Alright, GG's. Close game. But a nice back and forth. The turn to get our uh, planes coming to play tapped was pretty effective too. But yeah, overall quite happy with how this draft went. A couple games where we kind of flooded and then didn't draw lands in the following game, so those probably won't see the light of day, but uh, yeah, you can see the archetype breakdown here, not too dissimilar from the uh, Forgotten Realms archetypes with maybe more dragons than before. I think that's gonna wrap things up for this uh, video. So I want to thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.